The regular season is over, and with it, MVP discussions are starting to heat up. But let's be honest, this year, it's a one-horse race because Joel Embiid has been sensational all season. Don't believe me? Here's why Joel Embiid is going to win the 2022 NBA MVP Award. In a league full of superstars and star duos, Joel Embiid has been carrying the Philadelphia 76ers on his own. Well, for most of the season anyway. Ben Simmons' refusal to play for the team that drafted him left Embiid as the lone star on a championship hopeful. And the superstar big man brushed off the odds and went to work. Embiid dominated opponents on both ends of the floor and became almost unstoppable around the rim. I mean, Embiid has been hitting 73% of his shots around the rim this season. Now, that might not sound impressive until you realize that every team is out to stop him and he's doing it against two or three defenders at a time. Still, Embiid isn't a one-trick pony and has been lighting up guys from deep too, hitting 37% of his three-point attempts. How do you stop an athletic seven-footer who can literally score from anywhere? I mean, he's even knocking down 41% of his mid-range shots too. No wonder Embiid won this season's scoring title, and that's a big deal because Embiid is the first big man to win the award since Shaquille O'Neal was dominating the league. Oh, and if that's not enough, Embiid is also the first center to average over 30 points a night in over 40 years. The big man has been playing with a chip on his shoulder all season. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, I don't know what I have to do. I feel like they hate me. I feel like the standard for guys in Philly or for me is different than everyone else. Joel Embiid. But still, the big man has also been fantastic on the defensive end. We all know that Embiid is a rim protector. It's a given when you're seven foot tall. But that's why Embiid ended the regular season as a top 10 player for blocks per game. But it's his rebounding that has set him apart this season, finishing fifth in the NBA for rebounds per game. Embiid has been ensuring that teams don't get a second chance to score. And that's helped the Sixers become a reliable defensive team. Because you know that with Embiid patrolling the paint, teams are going to have a hard time. It's like the villains in Gotham City. Anyway, Embiid has also had himself a career year as a playmaker, averaging 4.2 assists per game. He's been making use of the extra defensive coverage and making his teammates better as a result. Can you imagine how open some of the Sixers' shots are when Embiid kicks it out of the post? It's like old-school basketball has mixed with new school, and the result was Embiid. I need to see that lab. Things got easier for the superstar big when James Harden came to town. Defenses couldn't load up on him, and Embiid suddenly had another all-star to carry some of the load. But the big man didn't take his foot off the pedal. Instead, he upped his game further, showcasing his elite screening skills and becoming one of the most feared role men in the entire NBA. Who would want Embiid running at them at full speed? I sure wouldn't. Embiid has been vocal about his desire to be one of the greatest centers of all time and has been putting in the performances to get himself into the conversation. But he's going to need a couple of MVP trophies if he wants to be taken seriously. And let's be honest, with everything he's done this season, it feels like the first of those trophies is right around the corner. Embiid has been exceptional all season, unquestionably one of the most impactful players in the NBA. And that's why Embiid has to win this year's MVP award. Because really, no one else has done enough to deserve it.